Hey guys, Chad Schaffgerman here. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate a new component that I have recently discovered for Flash. It's called Flash F2, and it basically allows you to create different effects shown high transitions, even button effects, basically by just clicking and dragging. It's actually really easy to use, and it's quite powerful. And I think it could be um, really useful to you guys in your movies and animations and all that kind of stuff. And you can get a free version of this by simply going to the website that's located on my video here, flashf.incrediblettutorials.com. The free version contains um, not as many features as the paid version, obviously, but it'll give you a chance to try it out, see if you like it, and if you want the more, if you want more features, you can obviously go and purchase the software later on. Anyway, I'll show you what this thing does. So first, I'm simply going to create a graphic on the screen. I'm just going to take my oval tool here and just draw a circle really quick. And I'm just going to click it and hit F8. And I'm going to make a symbol. I'll name it circle. And we need to make sure that the type is a movie clip. So go ahead and just click OK. Now, I'm going to go over here to my components panel. And I've already installed Flash F2, and you'll see it right here. I'm just going to go ahead and click it, and you'll see we have a bunch of different um, components here. I'm going to take the top one, the red one that just says Flash F2, and I'm simply going to click, hold, and drag it right onto my circle. And this might take a second. And now you'll see this little icon on the circle. Well now, with that icon selected and on the circle, we can go to Window, Other Panels, and go to the Flash F2 panel. Okay, there we go. I am now logged in. If you have the free version, you don't need to log in to the Flash F2 panel. But, since I have the premium version, I had to do that. Anyway, I'm just going to drag this down here. I'm going to go ahead and click the Flash F icon, and once I do this, you'll see I have a bunch of different options that come up here. At the top, you'll see we have Effect, Tween, Command, Options, and we have Show, Hide, Filters, Button, and Miscellaneous. Well, basically, Show is a transitional effect that brings the circle into view. Hide, of course, is the opposite of that, and Filters basically put different effects onto your symbols, and Button turns your symbol into a button by using different effects. For this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and show you a filter. So I'll click the Filters button right here, and it comes up with a bunch of different filters. And we can go through with our mouse button and just kind of scroll the different ones. We can kind of get a, um, a preview of each of these as we go through. So I'm just going to come down here and look, and I think I'll choose the Water Reflection one. And when we come in here, we can then choose from different presets within that filter. So for instance, you have default, clean water, lakeside, long way, and so on. I'll just stick with default. And even if I wanted to tweak this further, I could go to edit settings, and I could do the reflection distance and how transparent the reflection is and all sorts of different stuff. But I won't mess with that right now. And while you're adjusting these settings, you can always go to preview and just kind of see what it's going to look like as you're doing this. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and just leave this where it is, and I'm going to go back to my presets, and I'm going to apply this. And all you have to do is click it to apply it. So if we go to Control, Test Movie, you can see the effect is now in place right there. And all it required was a simple drag and drop and just a couple clicks of the button. So as you can see, this is really powerful and really easy to use. And again, I'll just go ahead and choose None here, and I'll get out of these filters for a second. I'll just go and hit None. If you go to the button, for instance, and you have all these different button presets, let's go down to the yellow spin preset and click that. Now, if we go to Control, Test Movie, and we go over our oval, as you can see, it applies that effect. It's an oval, so maybe the spin isn't the best way to um, demonstrate this. Actually, let me choose another one really quick, just to, um, let's choose the focus one. Go to Control, Test Movie. 
as you can see there you go now you can see the different effect and again as you can see it's really easy just to go through and select these and apply them and check them out to see if it's something that you want so there you go and that's basically flash f2 again it's a really powerful yet simple component for flash and I recommend that if you're new to flash or you're just looking to add a little extra visual flair to your animations that you check it out again you can get a free version and you can't go into all the presets and stuff with the free version but at least it'll give you an idea as to what you can do with it and again if you decide to later you can always buy it so go ahead and just check out that link on my video you have nothing to lose it's free anyway I hope you guys find this helpful and I will see you guys next time